Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I'll be sharing with you how I went from 200 to $130,000 within five years of being in the Navy. This video is a summary of what I did from June of 2015 to June of 2020. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section down below, as well as I highly recommend that you join the Discord community where I created this community because you can interact with me as well as other people who are well on their way to achieve financial independence through the military. It is something that I wish I had access to early on in my financial journey. Prior to joining the Navy, I do not come from a money background. I only had a strong desire to achieve financial independence. That desire has led me to read books such as Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad, George S. Klassen's Richest Man in Babylon, Four Laws of Debt-Free Prosperity by Blaine Harris, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and the list goes on and on. There's a, there's a good handful of books that I have read that I can't recall, but those are the ones that still stand in my mind that I would still go back to even till today to remind myself some of the philosophy, some of the strategies that was talked about in that book that I still apply to today. So the first thing that I want to share is I consistently learned. Learning about finances, learning about business and investing was instrumental for me to achieve what I was able to achieve. In 2015, I consumed a lot of content on YouTube. I would type in the search anything related to money, money management, and one person that stands out to me in that space during that time was a YouTuber that goes by Project Life Mastery. In 2016, I began to take interest in investing and I would search on YouTube any videos that I could get my hands on related to investing. One person that stands out to me is Jeremy Newsom by reallifetrading.com. But that was trading and not investing. And the other person that I consumed a lot of content from that time was Ty Lopez. That's when he really popped off and you know he had the here in my garage Lamborghini and books type of stuff. And I enrolled in his accelerator course where I paid a thousand dollars, which was a lot of money for me at that time. In 2017, I began investing in April and I continued to consume a lot of content as much as I could get from whatever sources from YouTube and also Ty Lopez as well as books. In 2018, I continued to consume a lot of content on YouTube. One person that stands out during that time was Pat Bet David from Valuetainment. Continued to consume a lot of Ty Lopez's material from his accelerator course as well as his YouTube material. And I continue to read a lot of books. And one book that stands out to me the most during 2019, uh, 2018, excuse me, is Tony Robbins' Unshakable. When I read that book, I think I, I believe I paid $30 for that book and I was reading it right about December of 2018. And during that time, the market was going into a correction. And that book helped me understand exactly what was going on with the market. And I was able to pivot really quickly and invest heavily into Facebook that I still have today, two years later. And that investment, right, of $30 to read that book has turned into well over $11,000 in unrealized gain currently from my Facebook shares. In 2019, I went on deployment and I read a lot of autobiographies from Mahatma Gandhi, Helen Keller, Nelson Mandela, Robert Iger, Les Stroud, survival stuff. And I downloaded a lot of videos as much as I could whenever we hit different countries and I had Wi-Fi from Gary Vaynerchuk, Cooper Investing, Jeremy from Financial Education, Pat Bet David, and etc. In 2020, after I finished my deployment in January, I still continued to consume a lot of YouTube content, right? Anything related to money, financial management, investing, and etc. I also enrolled in an Investopedia course, $350 for three courses, joined Jim Cramer's Action Alerts Plus membership, as well as join Jeremy from Financial Education's Financial Fortress, and I paid $5,000, which is a lot of money for me. And the lessons that I learned within his course, I am very confident that I'll be able to get that $5,000 back, and probably within my lifespan, I'll be able to 
get a hundred times return that five thousand dollars. So my personal philosophy is that my level of financial knowledge directly reflects my level of financial net worth. Because I educated myself on personal finance before I joined the military, I made sure that I got rid of any debt as well as not have anything, not have any expenses that are going to hold me back. So when I joined the military, I had a clean slate. For many years, I keep track of my money using an Excel spreadsheet down to the penny. It is very important for me and my own personal philosophy that I can keep track of 1% of my money. Eventually, I want to achieve becoming a DECA millionaire, right? Having $10 million. And I, the way I view it, if I can't manage even 1% of my money, I don't know where it's going. When I have $10 million, 1% is $100,000. That's a lot of money. If I can't figure out where that's going, it's a big problem. So I wanted to make sure I develop a great habit very early on and I keep track of my money using an Excel spreadsheet. If you haven't seen my video where I talk about exactly how I keep track using the Excel spreadsheet, I have a video about it. Highly recommend it in the comment section down below. My golden rule to military financial independence is to save $1,000 each month. I joined the Navy as an E1, getting paid $1,400 every single month. And I realized within a five-year contract, as long as I save consistently, I should be able to get out with $60,000. And with the other $400 that I got, I needed to live a humble lifestyle and not spend all $400. Throughout the years, as I started to rank up and the longer you stay in the military, the more you get paid, that golden rule turned to a platinum rule of maintaining a humble lifestyle and saving the rest. So that $1,000 each month turned to $1,250, $1,500, $1,700. $2,500 each month. Next is investing. I've always had a YouTube channel ever since I was in high school. It started out by doing origami, card games, men's style. Despite how I look now, I had a men's style channel. I also have a watch repair channel to what you're seeing now, a Just You Military Finance YouTube channel. When I was most active from 2016, 2017 to 2018, I made a lot of videos and through that work, through that period, every single month, it generated me two to $300 every single month to now that I'm a little bit inactive, it still generates me $150 each month. But going on with the platinum rule, I was able to utilize those funds to live off of. So every single month, my military paycheck went straight to savings and straight to investing in the stock market. I started investing in April of 2017 and during that time, by the end of 2017, I put all my money, I had right about $20,000 into the stock market. It was very common for me from 2018 to early 2020 this year to have $1 in my checking account and $1 in my savings account because all the money that I have and made always went to the stock market. The only exception to this glass cannon lifestyle was when I like to take vacations every single year. I go to Brazil, Korea, or Disney World. Or when I was stationed in Virginia, I would like to go home to Pennsylvania to see my family every two to three months. And so from April of 2017, when I had about $20,000, to June of 2020 to $130,000, the compound annual growth rate is 86%, which is factoring in all the money that I made from the Navy going into the stock market, the money that I made from Google that went to the stock market, uh, the realized gain as well as the unrealized gains is what makes up the $130,000. Lastly is humility inside and out. Inside humility to me, my definition is not being cocky, not saying, oh, I know enough that I can be good on my own. If you see throughout the years and even still now, I'm spending a lot of money educating myself. 
Within five years, I spent right about $10,000 on courses as well as education material and books. So that's inside humility in practice. And outside humility is not bragging, not flashing money. And you might be thinking, well, Yoon, you're, you're, you're gloating of how you're at $130,000. And I see that in the comment section down below. There's a clear difference between marketing and bragging and gloating right and, and showing off materialistic things if i could could i buy a tesla and show it on my instagram and say oh look how successful i am i could but that's that's not outside humility that's that's the opposite right that's gloating that's the thing that i want to stay away from right so maintaining inside humility as well as outside humility throughout the years was very important to me and I still continue that practice and it's something that I personally still believe in that's going to contribute to my ultimate success of becoming a DECA millionaire. All right, here's a bonus, two mistakes that I made and I'm sharing this with you in hopes that you don't make the same mistake on your military financial journey. Number one is I didn't focus on making rank. It took me a very long time to make rank. Had I focused a lot more on studying for the military instead of studying with the stock market and all that kind of stuff, those could have coexisted. I could have studied a lot about finances in the stock market as well as the military, but I was all about the stock market and business and all that kind of stuff. So it hurt my military career very early on because had I focused and made rank faster, I would have gotten a lot more money. Within my five years, I personally believe, just a rough estimate, I would have made anywhere from five to 10,000 extra money. Number two is I learned incorrectly. I didn't have anybody to talk to. I didn't have anybody to interact with. I didn't have a mentor. That's why my Discord chat, Discord community is so important because you can interact with not only me, but other people who are also like-minded and as well as there's Two individuals that I know verified one person two and a half years in, he's got like $60,000. Another person about four and a half years in, he's got about $80,000. You can interact with them. You can interact with the community, share your thoughts, share your opinions, see what mistakes you're making, see where you need to learn. Uh, it's, it's so important and I highly recommend it if you haven't joined the Discord community link down in the description. So that's exactly what I did within my five years. Hope you got a lot of value from this. I enjoyed doing this series from the very beginning, from how I went from 200 to 10,000 to 200 to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90, 100 to now $130,000. It's a big milestone for me. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for sticking around. See ya.